This is a torque converter. This torque converter comes out of a Cadillac SRX, I believe it was. Um, the torque converter, some who don't know what it is, is this big old round thing that fits in front of the transmission. It bolts to the flywheel. Okay? This torque converter holds maybe four, depending on the size, from four to maybe six or maybe even seven quarts of transmission fluid inside this big old round part of it. Um, and it has gears and these newer uh, torque converters have clutch material in there because there's a torque converter, uh, there's a clutch plate inside there. Now, again, for those who want to know about antifreeze getting into the transmission, can you flush it? The reason why, again, you can't do that because this torque converter, you will not completely get clean. You may drain the pan on the transmission, you know, take four or five quarts out, but you still have to get what's out of the torque converter, which may be another four or five, six or seven quarts inside, depending again how big the torque converter is. Now in this case, once again, it had a antifreeze mixing into it. Different color because of different color transmission. But you flip it around. And I'll get to let you see what is happening there. See it dripping out? And that's like mud, beige, because the fluid is different. So it's not pink milkshake like those got red transmission fluid. Okay. Now this is very, very thick. Ugh, shoot. Let's see. can look down in there and you can see the transmission fluid that's in there an antifreeze mixture it's like mud really okay There it is. Okay, when this happened, I'm gonna tell you what is best to do so that would never happen again. Okay, what I do when I get a transmission that has an internal cooler leak, I install a transmission um, cooler. And what I do, I bypass the radiator. Um, if the antifreeze mixture with the transmission fluid mixture have made its way to your engine, then you're going to have to flush the engine completely out. You may even have to take the thermostat out. But after you flush it out, you can keep that radiator in there. But what you would have to do is plug the portions where the transmission cooler lines went so that it won't leak out. You want have to plug it and then it can still serve as a cooling system for the rate uh, for the engine. But then what I do, I would if you may have to take the bumper off sometime but install the a transmission cooler on the front and you run your lines directly to the transmission. So you go from transmission to transmission cooler and back. However, now you got to get the right transmission cooler because if you get one that doesn't cool right then your transmission will run hot and you got to get the right one that will allow you to have a standalone air cool transmission cooler and like I say the one I use mostly is this one they have some cheaper versions of Hayden that are silver and they have fins on it but they run through it runs through the cooling transmission fluid will run through too quickly you want some that allows that transmission fluid to linger in there a while so that it have time for the fan to suck the hot air or to uh, suck it away 
and also for the air that's coming to in uh, facing you as you're driving to uh, cool the transmission fluid off. Um, sometimes you may even have to double up, double it up, and use two. Um, but in this case, this is what you do to make sure that that will never ever happen again. Okay. As you saw down here, that that's that's the mixture here, right there. That came out of that torque converter. Okay, but it would never happen again ever if you bypass that and install an aftermarket cooler. Okay.